Hello and welcome back. Uh, this is another episode here and today I will be opening a brand new box of the uh, three gallon oilless pancake air compressor here. And so if you're wondering why I, uh, I'm getting this is because uh, I recently sold my two gallon air compressor. It used to be somewhere right around here. Now it's not there. So I've uh, upgraded to a three gallon and uh, it's portable, small. It should be able to uh, you know power my um, braid nailer or any finish nailer. It's portable and uh, you know it's good to blow air and inflate you know tires and such not and whatnot I should say. So th there's some good practical uses versus you know a big monster like this, if you've seen my other episode, um, which I'll put a link on, you'll see what it takes to do uh, what you know, get one of these and uh, use this for spray painting, sandblasting, um, using uh, heavier, uh, uh, more heavy duty uh, nail guns, so things like that. But, anyways, uh, back to this here. And, uh, excuse me, let me make sure this is wiped out clean. There we go. So that just kind of helps it focus for some reason. Don't know why, but it does. So, um, if you're, um, for those of you who know my style, uh, you know what to do. And for those of you who are new, um, my style of video is basically all unedited, uncut, raw footage. Uh, you'll see everything how I see it, and it's in uh, first-person view, for the most part. So, if you get bored or tired, feel free to skip around. If this is really boring for you, and you just want to know, you know, the ending, you know, you just want to know the review, is it good, bad, or whatever, um, just go to the last episode of this series, and you'll, you'll get the review part. Anyway, so, um, let's go ahead and get started on this, shall we? So you are going to go into my little holster, strap to the chest here, and uh, yeah, you'll see me, you'll see me do this a lot, you know, like, so I can't see the screen, but I can see the edges, and I see my hand, I know a viewing, you know, space to work with, so you all can see everything. So let's, uh, let's go take a look here at this thing, and so... Oh, right. And just to give you a note, if you buy this, um, it's just the air compressor itself. You probably need to um, get you one of these here. And um, and uh, while you're at it, um, if you know what to do, you can probably get yourself uh, one of these as well. And here you go. And there's a logo, a nice little logo on here. I don't know if you can see that or not. I'm sure you can. So anyways, um, I plan on getting a million of these. So it does illuminate very well, especially for what I do. Um, uh, you know, for my recording here. So anyways, let's go here. So definitely get one of these and you can get this at a great deal and along with this at a great deal and uh, basically I paid less than my two gallon that I purchased uh, during Christmas for both of these and uh, if you ask me I'm getting a lot more with this I get an extra gallon and I get all all this with it, and which, by the way, I got most when I when I sold my two gallon. Um, I still kept a lot of my needles and my other, um, you know, uh, accessories that came with it. So this is all extra stuff for me that I got um, that I can use. And I already got some extra leftover Teflon tape. So I really needed the uh, uh, blowgun because that's what I sold with the uh, my two gallon. So that's what I really wanted, but. Um, I found out it didn't have uh, this particular 
compressor unit here in this box it doesn't come with the the hose or anything like that. So uh, I just went and got the whole kit caboodle, and uh, it's uh, it works out. So buy this if you don't have any of this whatsoever. I highly recommend you buy this with this. But even even with this, it's still uh, it was you know still a great deal, a great bargain. And uh, if you look here, you'll see the, uh, let me, uh, I'll, I'll pull you guys out so you can kind of see. Okay. So basically, if you look here, and let me do this here real quick so focus is really good. Um, the, I got three gallons, which is awesome. So it's an extra gallon. Maybe it has to run a little bit less. Uh, 100 psi was same as my two gallon. The horsepower was, of course, is more, but the CFM is is a big difference. It it is more on the three gallon. Not that I can do anything wonderful or great with it. And of course, the sound level was about the same. So, and this tells you what recommendations here. Perfect for inflating and blowing air, light woodwork, or bray nail or stapling. Heavy nailing, framing, finish, roofing nailer. This is going to be interesting. Uh, apparently, it can be intermediate use. And guess what I got lately? I got a nailer, a framing nailer. So I'm going to test it out on this, and that'll be on a maybe an update series or a different episode. Not sure how I'm going to do that. But it's not recommended for spray painting, automotive repair, metal work, heavy duty auto restoring. So that's something that, again, this bad boy is going to be doing right here, this large air compressor. So. Just want to make sure you guys get a better view here. I'm gonna wipe that uh, lens a little bit. Could be a little sticky or whatever the case is. So, but I just want to make sure that you guys get the full benefit of watching this. So excuse me. You probably heard the sound and everything. Before. So let's see here. Let's, let's just uh, just close up. That's all. So anyways, uh, there you go. You can really see it sharpen now. And so there, there you go. Um, and this is what I recommend that you purchase along with it. And you get all this. Importantly, what I really needed or wanted was the, the blow gun because I could have used it with the, the larger compressor. So you get all this. I, I recommend getting all this with it because it's, it's literally... What you see in the picture is what you're getting, literally, in this thing. So, okay, let's get started here. Over there, and then uh, now let's let's start uh, deboxing. I'll do a quick tour of this if you want to know what it looks like here. There we go. There you go. Some more information, and uh, yeah, more information. So, okay. All right, let's, shall we? Let's, let's, okay. So, all right. Let's do this. Uh, before I get on to doing that, let's use my specialty little item. And uh, grab my little, I know I already have one on me, but I, I, this is my garage flashlight. So I'll just have this all ready, handy dandy. So now that i got scissors, I don't have to, you know, do that. There you go. Every garage should have some scissors, in my opinion. In the kitchen, it helps as well. All right. Got to move that out. All right. Hopefully this will be a quick episode. And when I mean quick, I mean like maybe about half an hour or less than an hour some of you who've been used to my videos you know that I can go on for a couple hours so it's going to be it can be a long episode but I have a feeling this is going to be one of those pull out of the box I did read the I did read the uh, the manual Manuel as I call him 
Manuel here. Sometimes he's wonderful, sometimes he's not. In this case, Manuel is very short, very short, short Manuel. So, but I read the reviews, and uh, I guess this, the important thing is that you let it run, give it a break in time of half an hour. So, half an hour, you're supposed to let it run uh, with a uh, male plug in there. That way, the valve is uh, uh, it's open, and also the drain valve have that open. So, run that for half an hour. And after that, uh, apparently it's good. So um, here's an opportunity to see what it looks like out of the box. So let's pull you guys out. All right. So let's see what's in here. This is where the little flashlight comes in handy. And uh, let me see if, I, if I can, we can give the props to... Uh, to the company that uh, is making this all possible and uh, just got this flashlight for free so let's give them some props I'll do that much for them and uh, they just keep rolling with the free stuff uh, I'm cool I'm cool with it and you're welcome so let's see here um, hmm. okay it's in a plastic bag really simple easy looks easy enough let's pull the bag Hmm. So you can't pull the bag. I guess there is a handle right here. So uh, let's pull the handle and see how easy that is. And oh my gosh, really? Is it that easy? Uh, I guess it is. There you go. And that's what it looks like. And uh, you know, when you when you see this, these things are very small. Uh, when I try to sell my two gallon, uh, I took a close up picture of it because you know you want you want people to know what what they're getting. And I've had several people come over and they look at it and they'll go, oh man, I thought it was like way bigger because I took a close up of a two gallon, you know, compressor. And, uh, you know, I'm like, well, it's two gallons. Um, maybe you thought it might be like, you know, two gallons is a lot of, you know, whatever, two gallons of water. Um, someone drink two gallons of water, that, that, that's a lot, but... A two gallon air compressor is very small and uh, you know they, they come over thinking that they're gonna get you know one of these you know two gallon so <laughs> uh, but uh, sorry no you're not so th these units are very small let's see here if I can open if I can open it up here it should be yeah it just opens up here So you don't have to, you know, um, abuse your new machine here. Uh, you can be gentle with it and still be able to open it. There we go. And there we go. Let's turn it around and have a look at it in front. So I'm gonna have a flashlight just to illuminate it and kind of point out where things are. You're on off right there there you go you're on off your reset button apparently this is uh, hmm, this is interesting I have not read anything about this but um, looks like you can hold your stuff in here it comes with uh, and a place to wrap your cord okay I did read that Okay. Little folders for other items. That's cool. Um, your emergency release valve. It's an emergency release valve. There you go. Sharpened up a little bit. And then your gauges here. Your gauges. And this is this side right here. It's just your regular gauge. Let me go point it out. Your regular gauge, and then this should be your um, um, regulated gauge. Uh, so I'm just, uh, well, whatever the terminology. So basically, that's the uh, that's what's in the tank. That's what's coming out of the tank. So you can adjust it. Your 
your coupler. Okay. And then, then that's it. And then uh, the release valve. Yeah, this is just a sticker. If you really don't like this, you can just take this off. So there you go. <laughs> this is just a sticker. If you don't like it, take it off. Uh, okay. Let's just uh, turn it around now. Let's look for that release valve, and there it is. So I'm just going to turn it over here, just where you see. So this is a pancake here. So this is my hand right here. I'm just going to put it. There you go. That gives you an idea of of the size of this thing. It's really that small. So don't don't expect like this to be a big thing. It's not. So that's release. Tighten. I believe this shut off. Okay. Anyways, we're gonna. We're gonna look, give this some running, breaking time. We'll, we'll do that much for it. So, um, excellent. It's very simple. Again, if you don't have, that's all it came with. So, buy this. Okay. Buy this along with this, along with the air compressor. Because if you don't have this, it's just, you know, not going to do much for you. Um, the only thing you can do is release air through the uh, drain valve on the back, and that's about it. Uh, unless you already have some hose and um, uh, braid nailer and, and all these accessories here, um, you're pretty much this. This would be a pretty much useless buy. So purchase this. I'm letting you guys know. Purchase this with this, or purchase this with this. And then you should be started. Now this should this should help you get going. So let's open this up, put it on. So that's what I guess you guys have been waiting for, huh? Okay. So far it's so good. The actual you know taking things out of the box of the three gallon air compressor. Oh, that was easy, wasn't it? Now let's you know let's get this done. I'm just gonna let's just cut it at the bottom and do the sides. Yeah, let's just do that. And hopefully, I'm not gonna cut off my finger. Wear some gloves if you can, and be careful. side open. Probably should open this side, but that's alright. We'll, we'll open the whole thing. I probably gotta take the whole thing out anyway. So not a biggie. Not a biggie. really helps. You don't have to maul your finger or something like that. There we go.
Maybe I should open it from the top. This is, uh, oh well. Let's just open it from the side then. This is what I really want to get to. Well, let me do that. I'm just going to have to manhandle this. It's going to have to be manhandled. I'm going to teach this thing a lesson. Oh, yeah. Keep that, that. How do you like them now? Uh, uh, uh. Uh, I'm definitely probably not going to return this in one piece. Okay. Anyway, let's get this out. And this is what I'm really after. Is... Oh. Hello, and welcome back. Uh, this is another episode here. And today I will be opening a brand new box of the uh, 3 gallon Aureolus pancake air compressor here. And so if you're wondering why I, uh, I'm getting this, is because uh, I recently sold my 2 gallon air compressor. It used to be somewhere right around here. Now it's not there. So I have uh, a big monster like this, if you've seen my other episode. Um, which I'll put a link on. You'll see what it takes to do uh, what you know. Get one of these and uh, use this for spray painting, sandblasting, um, using uh, heavier, uh, uh, more heavy-duty uh, nail guns, so things like that. But anyways, uh, back to this here. Anything how I see it, and it's in uh, first-person view for the most part. So, if you get bored or tired, feel free to skip around. If this is really boring for you and you just want to know, you know, the ending, you know, you just want to know the review, is it good, bad, or whatever, um, just go to the last episode of this series and you'll you'll get the review part. Anyway, so, um, let's go ahead and get started on this, shall we? So, you are going to go into my little, and, uh, excuse me, let me make sure this is wiped out clean. There we go. So it just kind of helps it focus for some reason. Don't know why, but it does. So, um, if you're, um, for those of you who know my style, uh, you know what to do. And for those of you who are new, um, my style of video is basically all unedited, uncut, raw footage. Uh, you'll see it upgraded to a three gallon and uh, it's portable, small. It should be able to, uh, you know, power my um, braid nailer or any finish nailer. It's portable, and uh, you know, it's good to blow air and inflate, you know, tires and such not, and whatnot. I should say. So, th there's some good practical uses versus you know 